art can be ugly or graceful and unpleasant or pleasing, but no matter what, it pushes us to feel something very deep within ourselves. The Faroe Islands has a lot of very talented artists, musicians, writers, filmmakers, actors, designers and painters. Faroe Island is my home, so the inspiration is much from the moon, the big ocean and animals, and also from people. I believe that it's a combination of talent and also the rough nature that surrounds us. So growing up in the Faroe Islands with nature all around, the rain, the waves, the mountains. And the strong contrasts of darkness and light is something which I've always wanted my music to sound like. I believe that the nature has influenced my music. I believe you can hear it in my voice. You'll find both young, upcoming artists who are just starting off their journey and artists that have been there for as long as I can remember and who have inspired me a lot. Somehow, every time I see their art, it takes me right back to the core of the place where I come from. All people like to do something you really know. That is something very, very good for people to do. Well, I did it. And uh, Brando's my son, and he has working with uh, glass for many years. So when we have big work to do, we are always together. What we know when we work with art is uh, that is very, very difficult. You have to work with your own process. You have to be prepared to work hard in order to make a living from your art. You spend a lot of time away from home, away from your family and your loved ones. Your daily routines get all messed up and the long hours on the road, the hours in the rehearsal room. You never really sleep, but on the other hand there's so much good stuff also. A lot of laughter, hugs and inside jokes. So to get to travel with my music is it's a dream come true. Although the traveling itself can be quite exhausting at times, for me, as soon as I get on that stage, I know that I will forget everything about traveling. And that moment always reminds me of why. I do what I do. <laughs> I don't do them because I want to do an albatross. I do them because that is a symbol for freedom. That is, uh, all people could fly and you can do it in your mind. For both of us, it was that very interesting to get to Seattle and they invite us to come over and work over there. Um, that could be very interesting because uh, to ship them is very difficult to do, very dangerous and then also cost much money. The opening was fantastic. There were so many people, they could not, not get in all of them, so they had to have opening for three days and it was very interesting. I feel so privileged to get to share my stories and share my music with people all around the world. It was always my dream to tour and to travel the world with my music and I feel very grateful to be able to do that and to be able to share my music with the world. 
when I feel the reaction of the audience, everything just falls into place. It really makes it all worth it. The moment when the song meets its audience and somehow gets a life on its own. It's expensive to travel with a band with a lot of instruments. So Loftbrigven is a really good help for us. Loftbrigven is a very, very important stepping stone for Faroese art. It has made it possible for me to keep touring with my Faroese band members and that means a lot to me. Everyone can apply if they have some sort of exhibition or concert or something else outside of the Faroe Islands. And then Loftbrigden gives you tickets for the airplane, so you can fly for free actually. The goal is to get the Faroese art and portray it to the rest of the world. And by doing that, it also makes the world more curious about the Faroe Islands, so it's a beautiful thing. So they work very well like that, because that is a symbol for freedom. All people could fly and you can do it in your mind. <laughs>